Yo guys, it's Brandon, or aka Balance. Um, this is a very different video to what I normally do, and it's really weird for me to sit in front of a camera and actually record something. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is to show people how I actually power my RC505 by just using a normal power brick to charge a phone and the bird cord, cord cable. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I actually do it. So what the bird cord actually does is it converts your five volt, whatever power brick to nine volt. So it looks a little bit like this, if I show you guys. It comes, it's got the little bird cord, not five to nine volt on there. It should be USB to nine volt when it focuses. And what happens is obviously you put this end in your loop station and this end into a power brick. Also, this can be used on many different types of, you know, loops like foot pedals. You can use it to make your pedal boards if you're into that, guitar guitarists, whatever it's called, so I'm very bad. And yeah, so you can also get adapters will go onto the end of this. So if it is a different type of device, it will actually have adapters which you can get on the website as well. A great thing about the adapter is that it's, it's noiseless as well, so it's not going to make loads of hissing, buzzing noise if you decide to use the bird cord on stage to power your device. Last but not least, uh, it is worldwide shipping, so they can ship to anywhere at all, and you can pay in any type of currency. So what I'm actually going to do now is show you guys how it actually works. So I'm going to move my camera, set it up, and I'll see you in a sec. Now everything is set up, the cameras on my loop station um, were ready to go. So as long as your power brick, you know your phone power brick, emits at least 2 or 2.1 output, you should be perfectly fine and the cable will work absolutely fine. Like I say, this is just a cheapish power brick that I use for my phone that I saw I could actually use. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to obviously turn it on. Obviously mine is always, always on. You plug it into your your power brick and then from your power brick you want to plug it into your loop station or other device as long as it's as long as the draw as long as the draw is under 1000 um it will it will power your device uh the loop station is around about 500 so it'll work perfectly fine and then all you'd want to do is turn it on and just by using your power brick and this cable you can power your whole loop station you can practice on it, go on stage, anything anything you want. This is how I recorded my video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link in the description to the website where you can order yours. Um, I'm not getting anything out of this, this is just a product I thought I'd show you um, because I got a lot of questions about it. So that's the, that's the case it comes in and you do also <laughs> get a little free sticker with it as well. So you can, you can use that. And last but not least, if you do have any questions, um, then put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video.